Era, it's Daisy, and today is How To Blank Week. I am going to be telling you how to get the perfect Instagram feed. I like to think I know what I'm doing in my Instagram. I try to do the same thing in every photo, and I've been doing it for a while. So I decided I'm going to give you guys all my tips. And if you guys are not already following my Instagram, it's at dear underscore Daisy with a double Y. So the things that I look for in when, I, when I'm taking a picture, when I wipe out my phone, is for the colors, the contrast. There's basically one app that I use, and that's ViscoCam. Um, I don't really use any other app, if I'm being honest. And the filters that I use is HB1 and HB2. When I move it to that filter that I choose, I don't go, go all the way. I keep it at 8 or 9, and then, you know, I go to the next thing. The contrast, I move up one or two because I love the contrast. I love playing with that a lot. For taking pictures, you can use literally whatever you want to use. I use my iPhone 7 camera. It's usually what I always use. I don't use anything else. <laughs> but you can, it doesn't matter what kind of pictures or camera you use to take a photo. Each camera has its benefits, its pros. And then Facetune, you go to Path Tool, and let's say you took a picture of the sky, and there's like kind of a little bit of a tree and a little on the edge sticking out. You can literally use that tool to just take it out of that photo, um, which is pretty awesome. I need to invest in that because there's always a bunch of photos that I take, and there's something in the way, and I'm just like, oh, like I can't take another photo of it because no matter what I do, it's still there. The Facetune is literally $3.99. It's crazy how I don't like wasting money for apps, but like and other things I don't even think about it two seconds <laughs> but yeah guys just make sure you take pictures of things that you enjoy that you love and that will show in your feed my feed is um, a lot of white I do like to have a lot of white but not a uh, really brightness cuz I'm just like um, I want to say it's white with dark contrast you know and that's how I would use to describe my feed I don't know any other way to describe it and then for iPhones, if you have an iPhone, the perfect thing to do when you take a photo, even though you might not like this, you're so used to the photo thing, is using square mode because it's it's literally the perfect dimensions of Instagram. And so you don't have to worry about it having to cut out something or kind of like maximize it and, you know, kind of makes it a little bit megapixelized, megapixelized. And so it's kind of like, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's it that I have for you guys for this video. Make sure to subscribe right if you're not happy with you guys where the button is at. And I'll see you guys next time. And give this video a like. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye.